What's up and welcome back fifth graders. Thank you for joining me on this problem. Let's just go ahead and dive right into it. No pun intended. In this case, we have a fish tank in the shape of a right rectangular prism that is eight feet deep. And the top of the fish tank has an area of 120 square feet. Now using this information, our task here is to find what is the volume in cubic feet of the fish tank. <laughs> Now there is a whole lot of information here, but there is no diagram. So we should ask ourselves now, how can we model this situation? If we can draw a diagram and take our thoughts and put them onto paper, we can much better understand what's going on here and better find a solution. So remember that our fish tank was in the shape of a right rectangular prism. And we know what that looks like, except it is a fish tank. So let's fill it up with water and add a few fish. And we know that the fish tank is 8 feet deep, so we can go ahead and label that depth on our diagram. Now remember that we wanted to find the volume of this fish tank, and we know that the volume of a right rectangular prism is length times width times height. Now so far we only know what h is, we only know that the height of the rectangular prism is 8. We don't know the length, and we don't know the width. But what we do know is that the top of the fish tank has an area of 120 square feet. Now the top of this fish tank is just a flat rectangle. And we should already know that the area of a rectangle is just length times width. So whatever the length times width is, is going to equal the area. And we already know that L times W for this particular shape is going to equal 120. So even though we don't know the exact measurements of the length and width of the fish tank, we know that their product is going to be 120. So remember that in the volume formula, we didn't know what L times W equaled. Well, now we do. We know that length times width for this rectangular prism is 120. So I can slide that right into the volume formula. So now I can say that the volume is equal to 120 times 8. And the product of 120 and 8 is 960, the number of cubic feet that makes up the volume of the fish tank. So that one was kind of tricky. You really had to think mathematically to work your way through it. So you may want to go through this question a few more times, but this is the kind of thinking that we have to work on if we want to become stronger and mathematical problem solvers. So thank you again so much for joining me, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya. Thanks again for stopping by. Please click the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you next time. You know it. See ya.